Former Prime Minister Najib Abdul Razak and his son Mohammad Nasifuddin have been granted an interim stay of the summary judgment for them to pay more than 1.7 billion ringgit in tax arrears pending their leave to appeal at the federal court. The three-member bench of the Court of Appeal led by Judge Aziza Nawawi granted the stay after hearing submissions by Counsel Mohammad Shafi Abdullah representing Najib and Nasifuddin and also the IRB Deputy Solicitor Dr. Hazlina Hussein. The judges found that there were special circumstances that warranted the court to exercise their discretion to allow an interim of stay of the execution of summary judgment in both applications. Earlier, Shafi submitted that there were special circumstances for a stay to be granted. He said there would be a trail of repercussions, such as Najib losing his position as MP and would no longer be able to contest in any elections if he was declared bankrupt. He also argued that there was bad faith conducted on part of the government to declare Najib bankrupt as there were clear errors in the additional assessments. On the 22nd of July last year, the High Court allowed the IRB's application for a summary judgment to be entered against Najib in its suit to recover the 1.69 billion ringgit in taxes from the latter for the period between 2011 and 2017. On the 4th of February this year, the IRB issued a bankruptcy notice against Najib for his failure to pay the amount as the summary judgment was not stayed, while Nazifuddin was also served with a bankruptcy notice on the 30th of April this year over failure to pay the amount as ordered by the High Court. Najib and Nazifuddin subsequently filed separate notices of motion on September 14 this year to the federal court, seeking leave to appeal against the Court of Appeals' decision in dismissing their appeals.